In my first attempt of taking PD exam, I just got 64 in reading. But in my third attempt, I managed to get 89 score in reading section. How was it possible? I'm going to tell you everything in this video. All the tips and tricks that helped me to get 89 in reading section. And I'm going to tell you that it's still achievable, but you have to know how to prepare for it. So stay with me till the end of this video. If you want to know any tips and tricks that I use, that I apply, that is going to be very helpful for you in order for you to succeed your PD exam. Why am I making this video? But first, if you are new here, I live in Sydney, Australia since 2018. And the reason why I have to take PD test because I needed the score to launch my EOI for skill my grand visa subclass 189 and 190 as a chef. So as you know, or as you might know that this card of visa is very, very competitive. I have to try my very best to get the 79 plus in PD exam, like 79 plus in each, in each section because I wanted to get 20 point, I mean 20 point out of 20 for English, uh, English skill. So that the chance that I will get invitation is going to be high. That's why I try many, many times to, to get, um, to take PD exam because I wanted to score, like my desired score is 79 plus in each band. I have been through a lot of uh, difficult time, you know, during my PTE preparation. And finally, I got my desired score, I mean 79 plus in each band after my, um, in my fourth attempt of taking PTE exam. So I want to share my own experience. I want to tell you that to get 89 in PTE reading and writing, which is equivalent to IELTS 9, is still possible, is still achievable, you know, even though my English level is not that great. I have to tell you this because um, from, for example, myself, I used to take IELTS exam twice. In my first time, in my first attempt of taking IELTS test, I got reading score six. And then in the second attempt of IELTS test, I just got 5.5 .5 in reading uh, for reading section. So you see that even though your English is not that great, even though you just got 5.5 .5 or six in IELTS, but still you can manage to get 89 or uh, 79 plus in reading section for PTE exam as well. It's totally different, you know, I would say that PTE is much easier than IELTS if you know how to prepare for it, if you practice enough and then you perform well during your uh, exam day. But we need to practice with the right methods, the right, uh, the right strategies and the right resources. I'm going to tell you why I just got 64 in my first attempt, what are the mistakes that I did before, and more importantly, how I fix my mistakes. And then I'm going to talk about how I managed to get 89 in reading section, what is the secret, what is the shortcut way, any tips for someone who has reading, myself as well, I had reading. but. Even though we don't like reading, how to get high score in reading section for PTE then? I have to tell you that reading section is one of the most difficult modules in PTE exam. Why? Because it's going to test purely your English skill, you know. It's not like speaking module, there is no template like speaking module to help you, you know. So you need to practice a lot for reading section. The reasons why I just got 64 in my first attempt. Number one reason is that I have little knowledge on grammar approach. Um, to be honest, at the time, I was not ready for the exam. So I have little knowledge on grammar approach because, you know, we need to know some grammar rules to be able to answer the question, especially reading and writing fill the blanks correctly. Please watch my video about the important grammar rules if you haven't watched it yet. That video is going to help you to succeed your PE exam, especially in reading module. The reason number two why I just got 64 in my first attempt is because I have little knowledge about collocations. Do you know what is collocation? So collocation is a word or phrase that is often used, you know, with another word or phrase. 
in a way that sounds correct to people who have spoken the language all their life or basically you know the, the words that native speaker or local people speak local people or native speakers use in their daily life but it might not be expected from the meaning for example the word that you see on the screen here heavy rain what does it mean heavy rain you know what does it mean heavy and you know the rain right so if you see collocation heavy rain is mean that the rain is um, it's raining non-stop it's raining a lot something like that and then the second exa example strong wind you know strong weak you know the meaning and you know what is the wind right so if you want to say that the wind is so strong or the wind is like it's, it's very windy you could say strong wind so this is the collocation that we need to know we have to know some collocations so that we can answer the reading and writing fill in the blanks or fill in the blank uh, fill in the blank reading correctly the third reason why I just got 64 in my first in my first attempt is because my approach of solving a question is bad. You know, I just go with my feeling. What does this mean? When um uh, when I do my fill in the fill in the blank questions, I just go with my feeling. I just randomly pick the answer or the option with my feeling. You know. Sometimes I just feel like, oh, I saw this word somewhere before and I quite like this word. So I just go with this one, something like this. You know, this is not at all the good strategy or not at all the good method that um, that's going to help you to succeed your PD exam. The fourth reason is that my reading speed is slow. You know, you should practice reading a bit faster than your normal speed. You know, you won't improve overnight. But trust me, the more you practice reading faster, the better you will get. You know, if your speed is slow, you won't have enough time to answer all the questions in reading section because um, you have to know that in reading and listening section, you have limited time. You're going to have the timer on the right hand side, the right corner of your screen. So make sure that you, you need to read a bit faster so that you're not going to run out of time. And then you have enough time to answer all the important question in reading section. Fifth reason why I just got 64 in my first attempt is because I have reading comprehension problem. You know, we have to understand what we are reading in order to get the correct answer or in order to uh, eliminate the option that is not correct. You know what I mean? So not only we have to read fast or faster than usual, but also we have to understand what we are reading. And the sixth number six reason why I failed my first attempt is because I have bad time management skill you know time management for reading section in PD is very very important so take a note down if you don't want to pay another four hundred dollars to book another exam if you already start preparing for PD exam but you don't know the score chart you have to understand the score chart of PD exam because PD exam, you've got um, 20 different question type, but um, some questions are important, some are less important, and some are not important at all. You can just skip it, you know, and then a lot of people still got 90 out of 90, even they skip some questions that are not important. So you have to understand this concept before you start preparing your exam, because otherwise you're going to waste your time, you're going to uh, you're gonna have to pay another four hundred dollars to book another exam in the future. Trust me on this, and keep in mind that time management and score chart is very crucial. You know, in my first attempt, I didn't even know the score chart when I took PD exam the first time. I spent way too much time for the task that worth only one percent. You know, as a result. I didn't have enough time for the more important tasks such as reading and writing fill in the blanks. That's why I have to book another another exam because I failed in my first attempt. And now I'm going to talk about how I fix all the mistakes that I just mentioned earlier. So firstly, I have to improve my reading skill. 
you know fast reading for example you can find a book or novels that you like or that interesting you know something like you start from something that you interested in you don't need to read the textbook or the research or academic um, research or paper something heavy you know start with something something easy something that uh, relate uh, relate to your English level but make sure that while you are reading that kind of uh, readings is going to improve your reading skill and to be honest I recommend you to find something to read but if you are lazy myself I I don't really like reading so I just read from the real exam question and it's very helpful so listen to me carefully since we are busy since I am busy as well so as we know that we might get um, repeated questions a lot in PDE um, in PDE exam especially uh, in reading section reading and writing fill in the blanks and reading fill in the blanks the questions are always repeated I, I will repeat one more time fill in the blanks question are always repeated so why don't we just practicing or why don't we just reading from the real exam questions from the exam bank because um, in this way not only we can improve our reading but um, the chance that we're gonna get this kind of um, ex uh, this kind of question in our real uh, in our exam day is going to be very high and this happened to me in my third attempt why i managed to get almost 90 out of, out of 90 in my reading section and writing section in my third attempt so if you don't like reading don't worry just read from the real from the real exam question just read from the text from the passage of reading and writing fill in the blanks and reading fill in the blanks how did i fix my reading speed so i have to read twice the speed that i am comfortable at you know uh, reading a bit faster but i have to make sure that i understand what i'm reading as well so since we have limited time to do reading section we have to be able to read fast but we need to understand the context uh, we need to understand what we're reading to get the correct answer or to be able to eliminate the option that is not correct and the last thing that I want to share with you today is how I fix my mistakes about vocabulary and collocations. You know, don't try to rem remember the list of vocabularies and collocations. Even present official website, they provide us the long list of collocations. I try to print it out and try to memorize, but it didn't work for me, you know, because it's quite long, it's quite boring and it's very very difficult to memorize the long list of vocabularies or collocations like that um, i try instead to learn from ape uni app or the question bank i just mentioned earlier you know that um, we can just practice from the real exam question because it's always repeated and then i will have my vocabulary notebook like next to me i will note down uh, on my vocab notebook whenever i learned something new like new vocabularies or new collocations and uh, i will make sure that i will revise it um, regularly and consistently it's very important that you have uh, discipline you know when you prepare for the exam you have to set your goal you have to set the best plan and then do your best in order to achieve your goal in order to achieve your desired score you know so thank you so much for watching my video about um, how i improve my reading score from 64 to 89 i'm going to make another video to explain about reading section in more detail as you know that in reading section you have five different tasks i'm going to make another video to explain each and every task so that you you know how to prepare for it you know how to get the high score and then thanks again for watching this video i hope that this video was helpful or interesting in some way if you have any questions or any other section you can comment down below here and i will try to answer your question or i will answer your comment as soon as possible and once again take care of yourself and i hope that i will see you soon in my next video thank you so much and goodbye